Shecky, after your last video, you wanted me to take a look at some bigger properties for you. This is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and if you're new to Holton Wise TV, uh, what we do on this show, on this channel, well on the channel, the general channel, Holton Wise TV, what's that about? It's about providing you guys transparency in the real estate investment space in addition to providing you guys with actual deals, actual properties you can invest in. I know there's a lot of people out there who have educational channels, but all of that is based upon theory, right? They're teaching you strategies, they're teaching you advice, but it's all theoretical. And then sometimes you find out it doesn't actually work in practice. What we do here that's totally different we teach you guys that theory, and we actually couple that with real-life deals for you. We have a couple shows. One is the Investment Properties for Sale show. If you subscribe to our email list, we will email you that show every day at 1 o'clock. We are selling actual properties. We are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. And we provide you guys with a video tour and a deep, in-depth analysis on the property as a rental investment. And then the second thing we do is this show right here, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. What is different about this and that show is this is a show where you, the viewer, can hire us directly. We are not here to sell you properties we've been hired to sell or that we own. On this particular show, we find properties on the open market being sold by people other than us that meet your specific criteria. In addition, you could send us properties that you like, and I will break them down for you and tell you if they're good deals or bad deals. We're not here just to make money off of selling you a deal. Sometimes we're here to make you a bunch of money by telling you not to buy a deal. And today's show is my guy, Shecky. Shecky, I got this property pulled up for you. 11219 Langton Avenue, Garfield Heights, was listed 25 days ago for 89000 by a realtor out of Keller Williams. Now, the reason I popped this one up for you, brother, is the last show I did for you, I did a single-family burr deal for you, okay? You were looking for a burr, and with that particular property, uh, the numbers that that property was able to produce for you were actually much higher than the numbers you were expecting. Uh, so what you decided to do is you wanted to try your hand at looking into bigger properties, which makes sense, right? You know, you're thinking, okay, if I can make X on a single, maybe if I, you know, increase the size of the property, I'll make much more. It doesn't exactly pan out that way. And this property is a great example of what you can get uh, when you try to do B-class multifamily investing, right? Because you want to try some two to four units and even a bigger apartment building, which I've got an apartment building for you as well. We'll do that later in the show. But for this one, what I need you to understand from your brother is a couple things, right? You're interested in like B and C class, primarily B class properties, right? Super low risk properties, which is great. But you have to understand, to pull off a bird deal, you need to have a highly distressed property, okay? Bird deals only work because they're messed up and you got to renovate them. They only get messed up because, you know, the particular seller, uh, they don't have any money to fix the property up and it gets in disrepair. Now, if you go to B-class properties, nicer neighborhoods, that's fewer problems, fewer issues. It's a higher barrier to entry to get into that neighborhood. So you're going to have fewer distressed properties to look at. That's number one. Number two, if you go multifamily, the more units, the less likely it's going to get extremely distressed, right? Let me break this down. If you have a single family home and you're like just a random landlord or something like that, or you just, you're a person living there and it goes into foreclosure, something like that, right? Like if you're a landlord and your tenant doesn't pay rent, well, that's it, dude. There's only one tenant. There ain't no fucking money coming in. <laughs> You're fucked, right? You got no money coming in, right? But you got a five-unit apartment building or a duplex, something like that. Two tenants, three tenants, they don't pay. There's still other tenants paying, right? So the more units you get, the less likely it's also going to be distressed. So there's not going to be a lot of properties out there on the market 
uh, in these nicer neighborhoods that are bigger units that are just extremely distressed. So uh, the new parameters you were trying and hoping you can hit uh, with the this like criteria, probably not going to happen. So this property, that's why I pulled this one up for you. This is a... Uh, Pretty much a great example of what you can anticipate if you want to shop multifamily in the B-class market. So this is a duplex, like I said, listed at 89.9. As far as the current rents, this is something we could possibly get at slightly under value uh, because the rents are a little lower. 650, 635. Each of the units is two beds, one bath. As far as what market rent is. We will eventually be able to get those up to 750 a unit. That's market rent, so 1500 a unit. As far as what they look like right now, there, you know, there's really nothing major that needs to happen to this. They're a little outdated, okay? So at the next turnover, we're going to want to give them a little bit of love. But other than that, I mean, you know, this is decent. It's working, right? We got a tenant paying 635 and 650. So you wouldn't want to acquire this particular property and try to kick these folks out, right? At 635 and 650, the property is going to pencil out. It's going to make some money. So you'd want to ride them out as long as possible. Maybe every year we could slowly increase their rents. But when it does go vacant, you'll want to spend some money updating the kitchens and the baths. When we do that... We'll be able to get you two tenants paying 1500 a month in total. I anticipate the monthly average expenses being 887 so that'd leave you with an NOI of 613 a month on average, making just a little over 7000 a year. Now, as far as price goes, okay, like I said, not really a, a Burr candidate. There's really not many out there. I will keep that in mind that that's what you're looking for. But, you know, if you're looking to get videos from me, like, on a relatively, like, weekly basis, uh, you know, I can only give you what's available. So don't anticipate burrs coming in. But I will definitely keep my eyes open for you. And, you know, maybe, like, two months from now, one pops on the market, and I'll think of you, and I'll make you a video, and I'll send it to you. But as of right now, this is, like, what's regularly on the market. This is market competitive. And I think maybe you got a good shot at picking it up for 80 k right? The prices are, you know, they're very stable right now. It's Garfield Heights, very stable neighborhoods. So I think the best-case scenario we can get this property for you for 80k and you wouldn't even need to come in and pay cash i say you just do a loan bro i mean nothing major needs to happen to it so just just put 20k into it let the bank loan you the other 60k it's still going to kick off a 21.7 percent roi if you're able to get those tenants up to market rent you know just slowly and incrementally without having to do a major turn and if you do have to do a turnover hey man that's part of the game that's what happens this is real estate investing these are multifamily properties you're going to get turnover but what we do don't want to do is create artificial turnover, right? That's never good. So let's ride those existing tenants out. It's more or less a, a fairly turnkey type asset, even though it's a little dated. Now, one other thing to note is the point of sale system, uh, which is in Garfield Heights. I got a video about what POS is. There's a lot of cities in the Cleveland market that have those. So that's in the show notes below. So anybody who's got no clue what I'm talking about when I say POS, pause this, check that one out, come back to me. Assuming you know what I'm talking about now, at that price of 80 k with there being tenants already in there, I would imagine we could probably try to negotiate a clear point of sale uh, with these sellers. They haven't actually ordered it yet, which is kind of annoying. It shows to me that we don't have necessarily a sophisticated seller because the, the most uh, efficient way to do this would be for you to order the POS so you know what you're dealing with and then put the property for sale. These particular people, like we have to negotiate whether you're willing to accept it or they have to clear it. Well, we don't know what you have to accept and they don't yet know what they have to clear. So if items on the POS pop up that they were not necessarily anticipating, you know, that could cause some renegotiations down the road, a potential delay in the deal. Not ideal, but these are the types of things uh, we're going to be dealing with when you're dealing with this kind of thing. You know, sometimes maybe the POS comes back and there's more issues than the seller you know, they may agree, right? They may agree to do a clear POS for you, but then they actually order their POS, they get their POS, and they realize they don't actually have the ability or the desire to actually clear it off. So at that point, sometimes we have to do a little renegotiation. We may be able to have you assume them, but get you a dramatic price decrease. Maybe perhaps $10,000 of POS items pop up, the seller realizes they can't handle those, and maybe we can go in and negotiate you a $15,000 price reduction. That's a way we can create some value value. But other than that, this is really what you should anticipate when you're looking at multifamily in the B class markets, right? Uh, if you if you really want to extract extreme value 
and, and do some serious bursts, some incredible high paper cash on cash returns through the power of the cash out refinance, you're going to need to look at distressed stuff, right? So you want to open it up to more lower class properties. And we just happen to have a lot more single families in this market available because of me reasons I mentioned earlier. In addition, dude, they just they built more of them, right? Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then we get you into the second property, which is an even bigger one because you said, hey, man, let's check out the uh, small apartment market. So I got something like that to provide you a nice outlook on what that looks like in the Cleveland market right now. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, Shecky, welcome back, bro. Now, what I want to do now, I'm going to talk to you about this bigger property, right? Here's the deal. Uh, this particular property, I actually looked into this one uh, a couple weeks ago for another set of clients of mine. They were interested in the space as well. Um, what you really need to know, too, is, you know, as we decreased in our availability in the market, you know, with the duplex and the nice neighborhood, you know, the amount of distressed ones went down. It's going to go down even further. When we're talking about uh, small apartment buildings in the Cleveland market, we have even fewer to work with, right? So our inventory is incredibly small. And as I touched on earlier, dude, we have multiple streams of income coming into these, right? You know, one tenant goes out, you still got three, four, five, six of them, you know, paying rent, right? So the one I got for you, it's a mixed use quad. And I'm going to show you the footage from when I previously looked into it. The pickings are slim, right? You've got have like really narrowed it down so we don't have like a million uh things to choose from but what i did find for you is something that's pretty cool i think you'll like this i'm very familiar with this building I actually almost bought this building a couple years ago 5318 state road parma ohio 44134 this is listed at two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars this is a mixed use building right it's not just a pizza shop right i know you guys are not uh you know trying to buy pizza shops right you're out in california no we have a pizza shop a barber shop and two apartments right both uh apartments are here so this is a duplex right you got the duplex on the side street and then off of state road you got the pizza shop and the barber shop and like i said i actually almost bought this building a few years ago when the current person who's selling it now uh, when they bought it, I was bidding against them, and they outbid me. And the listing agent, they're using the same guy. He was the listing agent back then. Uh, DePiro Real Estate Services is who's selling it. Okay? So I've actually already toured these units. Uh, they were One of them was vacant at the time. The, the barber was there. The pizza shop was there. I've actually eaten there, too. This is freaking great pizza, man. So, uh, you know, that's one thing to look at, right? If, if, you're, uh, if you're buying a... A mixed use building right like this right and one of the tenants happens to be a pizza shop i highly recommend uh you or somebody you trust try the pizza if it's shitty pizza you know you got a problem but these folks they've been there for years man probably 15 20 years that pizza shop's been there the pizza's awesome um so that is good right that would be horrible if they uh had crappy pizza right you know they go out of business there goes your rent check so this is listed at two and a quarter okay but I don't want you guys to pay two and a quarter. I don't think we need to pay two and a quarter. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long shot, but hey, 
This thing has been listed for quite some time. I happen to know what these folks paid for it. They they bought this thing for a uh, a song, man. I think they bought it for like it was like one thirty, one twenty five. Uh, that was like three four years ago. I was bidding on this with them. I think it was like twenty fifteen is when I was going against these folks, right? So if they sold it to you at one seventy five, they're still gonna walk away with some profit. You know, you may have to pay a little higher than one seventy five, but I'd like to see you get it at one seventy five. Now, as far as the rents. We have a one bed, one bath unit. They're getting six fifty. That's market rent. They have a two bed, one bath unit, which is paying less. They're only paying five fifty. That's not market rent. We should be able to increase that up to seven fifty. Okay, seven fifty is the market rent for that unit. And then you got the pizza and the barber. They're both paying four eighty five, I believe. Um, the way the listing agent set up their listing is he gave us the total rent breakdown and he gave us the individual two and the one bedroom unit breakdown. Uh, he didn't individually list uh, the rent of the pizza shop and the barber shop. I believe they're both paying the same. It could be a little different. So that uh, in totality, right, the 45 plus the 45, I think that's like 970. In totality, that's what you're getting out of those two units. Yeah, we sent him an email. He haven't got, he didn't get back to us in time for us to make this video. But I believe they're both paying 485. But you know, one might be paying 500, the other might be paying 470. But we know the actual rent roll though is 2,170, right? So things bringing in 26 G's a year. Now. Of that 2170 what's it going to look like as far as performance goes? Well, we're going to factor in 60 bucks for repairs and maintenance of those uh, two residential units. You don't really need to worry about repairs and maintenance inside the commercial units. The commercial tenants are going to handle that. But you got to worry about vacancy, not payment of rent, right? Even though both of those tenants have been in there for a long time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with commercial. Uh... Typically, right, your tenants, they stay a long time, right? We got like, you know, 15, 20-year tenant in there. But when it does go empty, it's going to sit empty for a long time, right? So like, uh, you know, an apartment, right, that goes empty, you know, within two, three months, boom, we got you a new tenant. You know, we could do a rehab, get you a new tenant, right? It only takes about 30 days to get a new tenant for a residential unit after it's already been made rent ready, right? That's quick. That's easy. As far as commercial goes... That's, that's different, right? You're going to see really long lengths of stay, right? You probably ain't going to get a 20-year tenant in a duplex, but, you know, within 30 days of that unit being ready again, you'll get a new tenant. As far as a commercial business goes, you're going to get many, many years out of them if the business is su successful. But then when it goes vacant, you know, might be looking at like a year or two to get a new tenant in there. So you still got to factor in vacancy, CapEx, taxes, insurance. Uh, just so you guys know, it's in the show notes below, but we own a farmer's insurance business. We are licensed to insure people coast to coast. Doesn't just have to be here in Cleveland. So anybody out there with rental properties, if you're interested in uh, possibly lowering your rate, click the show notes below. Let us quote you today. All we do is landlord insurance, guys. Now, the insurance on this particular building is going to be a little bit higher than what you'd normally see. Now, if we were doing like a pure apartment building in this price range, the insurance would probably be a little lower. But once you add in commercial tenants, it gets a little higher. But here's the thing. Uh, I know you guys were looking for pure apartments, but you guys have given me such a very narrow scope to work with. There's really not going to be a lot. So we have a lot of mixed use buildings like this uh, in the Cleveland market. So you're probably going to see um, if we stick to this uh, criteria here, this price range, you're probably going to see a lot of things where there's two apartments, four apartments, one storefront, two storefronts, things of that nature. As a matter of fact, I'm doing another video for you guys, a separate video, which has your second property in it. That's got four apartments and two storefronts, right? So after I send both of these videos to you guys, we'll probably get them out to you same day. Um, after you guys get both of those, you know, if you guys really don't like the fact that it's mixed use and you guys want to make some adjustments to your criteria, we can do that. But sticking with what you got, such a, a small window for me here and the housing stock we have available, that's that's what we got, right? Back to this building, the water sewer should be 300. Lawn care, I've got zero written on here, but here's the thing. Just so you guys know, let me pull this up. All right, right here. Now, 
we have this teeny, teeny, tiny little patch of grass, right? Uh, our normal lawn care cost is $44 a month on average. We got to cut between 16 and 18 times a year. Obviously, we're not cutting January, February. Anything under like a, a third of an acre is the same price, right? So the fact that this is like really teeny, tiny, it's probably only like eight feet wide or something like that. The fact that it's smaller than like a regular yard don't matter, right? You're not necessarily paying me per blade of grass. You're paying me to actually get the truck, get the team out there there so i wrote zero on here if you do nothing uh you're gonna have to pay 528 dollars or so a year for us to maintain this because even though it's small still grows could still get cited by the city what i recommend doing since it's so small though i say we just get rid of it right let's just put some more concrete there you know you spend a couple grand for us to pull that out you know put concrete there put uh, put rocks in there or something like that so you don't have to continually pay us to cut it so i put it at zero but if you don't do that work you're gonna have to continue to pay us to cut it because you will be cited by the city lastly property management 217 so of the estimated 2170 coming in every month we are estimating 1233 goes back out the door leaving us with an noi of 937 if we pick it up at 175, which I think we got a good shot, maybe we got to pay a little bit more, but um, I think they've got this listing overpriced. It's been on the market for almost uh, a year now, and I know what these folks paid for it because I was bidding with them when they bought it originally. So, you know, I don't necessarily know if it goes through, but, uh, you know, it's a good shot. I don't want to see you pay list, though. I think that would be overpaying for the property. I'd rather see you not do the deal than overpay, right? I'd rather you not do the deal than pay two and a quarter. Um, so if we can get at 175, great. That'd be a 6.4 cap right now currently. But don't forget, we got meat on the bone because that two-bedroom unit, we can get that up to 750. And truth be told, uh, the pizza shop and the barber shop both paying 485, right? You could realistically get that pizza shop up to like seven, eight hundred, but you know, I don't want to sell you on that right now today because hey, man, we're just coming out of COVID, um, so like. Today is not the day you go to your commercial tenants and try to jack their rent up. So maybe something to think about down the road. 485 is really cheap for those. But uh, I don't think, you know, just being pragmatic, looking at the state of the world right now, I'm not going to sell you on the idea that, like, next month it's a good idea to jack up those guys' rent, right? That wouldn't be smart. So uh that's this particular property like i said in addition to this video uh i'm already going to have a second one ready for you and then we'll take a look at both these uh videos both these properties and we'll kind of go from there because i know it's a little bit different than what you've originally requested but uh again what you've originally requested it's just such a narrow scope i don't have a lot of inventory to work with all right shecky so that was my thoughts on the property at that time let me know. I think both of these are pretty decent investments. Uh, they're not bad investments by any means. I think they would both work well in your portfolio. I know you got some properties with us already, but I know you were trying to really hit the burr. So after this video, let me know what you want to do, man. Do you want to move forward on these properties, more properties similar to this? Uh, you know, get that high quality neighborhood, the safe, stable investment, or are you really trying to chase some burrs? And if that's the case, if you got it in uh, your head where you really want to do a bird deal, what I really recommend is we open it up to single family homes in D and C neighborhoods. If we do single families in D and C neighborhoods, we're going to have a lot more inventory to work with, and we could probably make some deals happen a little bit quicker. In addition, dude, uh, if you're still hoping to get a burr in the B-class area, like a B-class duplex burr, don't think that they'll never come about. They may come about. What you could do is you could just let me know, hey, man, I still would like to do that. So just keep an eye out for me, and whenever one does pop on the market, punch out a video for me quickly and then get it to me, right? Once one pops on the market, I can make a video in a day or two for you, but I can't tell you when that video is going to come to you. It could come to you two months from now, three months from now, six months from now. It's just based upon what pops up, right? That's why it's good that you bought the 10 property package, right? You have a bunch of properties with us, so you essentially hired me. I'm out here being your hired gun looking you know, at the market for you on your behalf, right? Just because the deal isn't available today, it could be available in the future. So those are all options we have, man. So let me know what you want to do. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. 
This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.